to line up with the... Thanks, you're all right. Cheers. Oh, nailed it. Wait, that's beautiful. That's such a good shot. She focused as well. Yeah, servo focus coming in clutch. Boom. As you can tell, I seem to get a little bit excited about the photos I take in this video. This is an RF 85mm f2.0 street photography video in the streets of London. Enjoy. Spotted some lovely light here. A little contrast between the highlights and the shadows right in front of me. Hopefully we have a subject that just walks through the middle here. Someone on their bike, we might be able to get this. Love the, the harsh contrast between the shadows and the highlights here. So we've got a subject walking through, F5.6, shutter speed, 1.500. Nice. Straight on with this light and shadow contrast here. 7.1, shutter speed, 1.640. Oh, I don't like the van in there. Isolate a subject. Here we go, this biker. Boom, very nice. 85, really doing well to shoot across the street here. 7.1. Shutter speed, 640. Something quite nice about being just a little bit higher than ground level. We're gonna wait for these people. Loving it. Loving the light and shadow today. So we've got like a, a weird like wooden fence in front of me. So I'm gonna try and shoot through it into the light and shadow. So I'm gonna stay at like 7.1. We're gonna wait for a subject to just fall through the middle here. Just like that. Ooh. Every corner we walk around, there seems to be some more lovely light and shadow for us. So we've got this gentleman across the street here. F8, I think, seems to be perfect exposure. Just gonna follow him into the light. Very nice. 85 mil, looking very sharp. So we're just walking down embankment. The sun is out, the flowers are blossoming. We're gonna get nice and close with the 85, minus my shadow, make sure I'm out of the way. Let's get some depth of field on it. We'll go two point, we'll go all the way down to two. Focus in the middle there. If that's not a wallpaper for your phone, then I don't know what is. These are very cool. 85 seems super sharp. Some more use of light and shadow in front of me here, just over this bridge. That's what's interesting about light and shadow. You end up with compositions that you wouldn't necessarily have on a day without the light. 7.1, 640 shutter speed. Cool. Don't mind that. Down. Oh, what a sharp photo. We're going to get a lovely portrait of Dan here when he turns around for me. Oh, look at that pose. He's worked on that before. Let's get a typical... Um, photographer's pose where you oh there we go you're a true instagram photographer now but if that's not your profile picture i don't know what it is but i'm like looking down a staircase over a wall into a pocket of light this is such a weird composition that i've not come across here we go this is such a cool composition lots of deep black surrounding the entire frame and then just one pocket of light we've got a couple of good photos there let's see if we can get a shot of someone through this mirror Jeez, that's sharp. Oh, that's cool. This guy. That was so cool. No, that's it, thanks. Perfect. So we've just arrived at Chinatown. I think the 85mm is really going to come in clutch when they're getting some detailed shots. You know, things like these lanterns in front of me. Let's shoot at like 4.5. Something like that. Look how sharp that is. Very cool. The light around here is great right now. This old guy's cool. This guy looks like he's just waiting for someone. Some nice simple photos of this guy. 85 mil, really sharp right now. Such harsh conditions right now, the light is so harsh. Nice. This old chap's just waiting around, just having a good time. There's a harsh light from this corridor here. Look, the contrast makes this look black and white if it wasn't for the orange buntings. The light right now is just incredible. These detailed shots, the texture of these buntings, it's so colourful. Love this. Just a very generic shot of China down here, overlooking everyone. Kind of focusing on the bunting though. Very messy photo, but there's something about it I quite like. Ooh, some nice reflections here in this corridor. Just about this guy isolated on his bill. F3.5. Very nice, I like that. 
really random, really weird. This is always a nice shot down this street. But I've got the 85 mil on, so let's just get a nice texture shot, architecture shot of the building. F6.3, ISO 100, shutter speed 1 to 100. Very nice. It's incredible light from down this street here. Just gonna expose for the, well, try and expose for the highlights. Probably make this really cinematic. Over, over edit that to compensate. Look at the wallpaper on this wall is so cool. Can try and get someone's head to line up with the... Thanks, you're all right. Cheers. Oh, nailed it. Wait, that's beautiful. That's such a good shot. She focused as well. Yeah, servo focus coming in clutch. I'm going to crop in. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to wow. crop in so you can't see. That's yes. so cool. That's good. Well played. So. Boom. Shot of the day. All you need is that one shot. <laughs> These guys walking down here look pretty cool. Ah, lovely bit of eye contact. <laughs> Real natural moment there. That's kind of cool. We're shooting directly into the sunlight here. This street looks so nice. That was cool as well, actually. The pop of light in an alleyway, like 300 meters away, and you can just get a silhouette of these two people walking through. Something there, maybe, I don't know. I might be clutching at straws here. I like this Balenciaga billboard. See if we can get any subjects to walk through right in between there. Something about the green looks really nice in that photo. Make that pop a little bit more in the edit. Let's get a photo of this squirrel in action. Hello, pal. That is the sharpest squirrel photo I've ever taken. <laughs> Come here, mate. You look cute. Oh, beautiful. Pose for me. Pose for me. We love it. You've got to get this photo. You know what's coming here, don't you? Oh, the colours around this time of year look so nice. This is absolutely stunning. Go F8, F9, 125 shutter speed. London Eye just glowing in the distance. Gorgeous. <laughs> Do you oh. mind taking a yeah, of course. You look like you're, uh, you know what you're well, doing. Well, maybe. So. <laughs> yeah, I might look the part, but we'll find yeah, out when I take the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to move a little bit further? You'll yeah. be able to sit on the yeah, line. Yeah. <laughs> I'll invoice you for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just got a shot from this composition here, but I wasn't filming on the GoPro, so I'm going to show you the photo on screen now as if... Um, but that's what the photo looks like, and it was sick, but I won't film it, so... Just walking across a bridge in London. I don't actually know what bridge this is. I love the silhouette that the sunlight is creating from these buildings. There you go, F8, 1 500 of the second. Put a nice sunset gradient on that, very nice. So I want to somehow capture a bus going by just in line with the sunset in front of me to create a really nice silhouette shot. A lot of negative space in the top third. That's nice, I think. It's not a bad photo. Just while I slowly climb over this little gate to get close to the beach and get these final few sunset bangers, I wanted to let you guys know about my Ultimate Street Photography course. If you wanna know how I edit photos, how I compose photos, how I know what to look for, how to spot unique moments, how to improve your photography and bring your city to life, I have a full comprehensive guide on everything I know about street photography. So I'll put a link in the description. If you're interested, feel free to check it out. Love this composure. It's a nice landscape image there. Ooh, lovely landscape shot of the city of London over there. St. Paul's is just in there as well. We'll go F5.6, F5 actually, 125 shutter speed, ISO 100. The city looks great over there. Now let's take a look at the hashtag Mike Chudley to see what you guys have been posting and check out your work. 11,800 posts, that is bonkers. Thank you so much, keep using the hashtag if you wanna be featured at the end of the videos like this. First one I noticed was this orange tram, just because of the colors. I like the color match with the buildings there. Very nice reflection, nice and simple, let's give that a like. This is mad, JX Visions, Moody Nights. I love how you framed the street lights there. This is so sick, I might try and take a photo using those street lights, that is incredible. Nice work. This silhouette shot from the underscore fizzler. I think I've shouted you out before. You seem to be posting some seriously nice photos. Every time I do a video like this, you seem to pop up. This is a great silhouette shot. Looking at the sunset, the kids jumping in the air just represents a little bit of joyfulness. Great shot, mate. Really nice work. Ooh, these birds from Grand Snap. This is a great image. I love how they're all kind of perfectly composed in the frame, like none of the birds overlap each other. This is great. I love the edit as well, the blue and purple in the sky. That is amazing. Yeah, really nice work. Lovely St. Paul's shot from Colour Kill. Who doesn't love a leading line shot? And this leading line shot in St. Paul's is very popular, but I actually like how this is a little bit of a different spin on it because I've seen this photo or this angle a million times, but I've not seen it composed like this where you've focused 
focused on the metal railing in front of you and then that's in focus. Everything is out of focus. I just think it looks quite nice. And it's sunset as well. Brilliant. I want to give a little shout out now to Tom Williams who sent me this message after he purchased the Ultimate Street Photography Guide which I mentioned earlier on. I've not even reached the end of the Street Photography Guide and I'm already seeing such a difference in my photography. That means a lot already. Mike walks you through everything from gear to settings to capturing those perfect moments. I do, he's not lying. Whether you're new to street photography or have been at it for a while, you won't regret getting the ultimate street photography guide. Thank you so much, Tom. I really appreciate kind words like that and genuinely means a lot that you're getting value from the guide and it's helping you with your photography. Sounds like an aeroplane is taking off outside my flat. If anyone else is interested in the Ultimate Street Photography Guide, if you wanna improve your photography, bring your city to life, just everything I know about street photography with presets and raw files as well in there. So if you're interested, link in the description, like I mentioned. Thank you so much for the support. Keep using the hashtag Mike Chudley if you wanna be featured in videos like this. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers, so please hit that big red button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.